Hey everybody. I uh, just thought I would check in with you. Uh, it's like October 21st, Wednesday, is it? Yeah. Lost track of days. I work graveyard on Monday nights and and then I don't work the rest of the week except for here at home and I lose track of days really easy. Um, and I'm kind of out of it, have been feeling a little under the weather. But today I decided I needed to tackle a job. Um, I'm not gonna have, we're not gonna have any racing videos coming up for the next couple weeks. Guys are getting the car ready, getting a new wrap body. Um, right now the guys are on a work trip, so they're actually out of state. So it's just Iz and I here um, this week at the house. The guys should be back on Friday. Uh, is is at school so today I decided I needed to tackle a hot spot I've got I don't know if you ever watch like motivational cleaning videos um, fly lady talks about hot spots and cleaning up hot spots hot spot is a place that you tend to keep some clutter well my formal dining room my formal dining room table has become my hot spot. Um, little story to that. There's a chandelier that's above the table, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But it, for the first maybe six months that we lived here, when we first moved in, it worked fine. Um, I always intended to replace it because chandeliers aren't my thing, but um, I'm more rustic. I like the more rustic look. Um, anyhow, the light does not work anymore. And um, for the past two years, two Thanksgivings, I've been working. So I haven't really been able to do a big family get together like we used to do always at our home. Um, we would have my family over, my husband's family over and do a big Thanksgiving holiday get together. Well, I would like to do that this year because I'm not going to be working. And um, unfortunately, my little hot spot is overwhelming and I need to take care of that so that we can have people sitting around the table. We don't usually use that table. We've got this table here in the kitchen area and we've got TV trays. Fortunately, the four of us that still live together have a busy schedule and we don't always hardly ever sit down all together and eat a meal so I would like to be able to do that on Thanksgiving so I'm gonna tackle this but first I have to get dressed for the occasion okay I'm all dressed up um, friends and family that know me really well know that I like to collect aprons and so usually when I'm doing housework, I try to put on an apron, but I don't like your typical apron. I like fun aprons because it just makes housework more fun. So this is the outfit I've chose for today. Here, I'll step back here to see it. Mm-hmm, yep. Okay. Let's go tackle that hot spot. Well, there it is. There's the chandelier that no longer works. So the table underneath that chandelier has a pile. I've, it's just become my mail pile. And most of the stuff on there, and I'm embarrassed to show you, but I'm gonna show you because this is real life, real life. Um, most of the pile on here needs to be just shredded. And when Iz gets home from school, I'm gonna put her to work helping me. So yep, there's the light. It's a pretty chandelier, but I don't know if I have a wiring issue because the light was working just fine. And this switch right here could possibly be the culprit as well. I don't know. Um, you flip it on, 
and nothing happens. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the switch. I don't know if it's the light. I don't know, it could possibly be wiring up in the attic. Hoping to find out. I do have another light sitting in this box down here in the floor. That's gonna be the new light. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get this. Here it is, here it is. We need to get this taken care of first. Then, I'll have the table moved out and we can tackle that. But yeah, that's it. I always, when I get off of work, drop my jacket off here. I wear a jacket in the PD because it gets kind of cold in there. Um, here's my bags, my lunch bag. Um, that actually right there is our projector that we use outside by the pool and it's no longer being used. It's too cold to get in the pool. So it's sitting right there instead of being put away in a cabinet, which that's what's gonna happen. But yeah, most of this mail that's here is just stuff that needs to be shredded. There's my shredder, it's full. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is empty it. That way it's all ready to be filled up again. Okay. Let's get this party started. So in that box from Amazon, there's a bunch of bags. It's like bags of hair. I use it in my daughter's hair. They're called spring curls. And it's just um, different colored hair to add to her hair, just to make her hair look a little more colorful. Now what I'm doing is just kind of sorting through some of the mail. Most of it was just junk mail that I had just saved for whatever reason, just left it. I'm kind of a paper hoarder, as you can tell. Um, but anyway, I was just dividing it up for what needs to be thrown away, what can be shredded, what goes to my husband's work desk, what belongs on my desk as far as bills that need to be taken care of. And our sons have mail as well that needed to be divvied up. Oh, check this out. I mentioned the fly lady earlier. She has the most awesome calendars that I usually order every year. They're huge and plenty of places to write things. So I love them. So um, that's one of the things I got in the mail.
I honestly don't know why I do this to myself. Every now and then I let that table pile up and um, if I would just deal with the mail on a daily basis, I wouldn't have to do this, but I don't know. It's just something, something I do. How many of you also have a hot spot that you have to clear out every now and then? Let me know in the comments. All right, time to put the projector in the cabinet where it belongs. So the shrimp piles already and my daughter is anxiously happy to do shredding. She just loves that job and I'm <laughs> grateful for her help. So that table cover that I'm removing right now uh, so that I can wipe off the table, my grandmother made that. She hand crocheted that and I just love it. And um, I don't have my grandmother with us anymore, but um, I do have that and it's very special to me.
finishing off wiping up the table and then I'll put the table cover back on. Okay, hot spots all cleaned off. Looks much better. Now I just need to get some holiday decorations to decorate the table with. Went from this to this. And it really didn't take me that long. Thanks for watching.